Hi, it's Cindy with Striven. Today we'll be reviewing service management, and in particular, the tasks dashboard. Some of the highlights we'll be covering are widgets, dashboard configuration, configuring filters, and custom reports. So let's get started on our journey inside Striven. To get to task dashboard from the dashboard screen, you would go to tasks and dashboard. The first time you pull up this page, it might look a little like this. Let's review the different widgets and what you can do with each of them. So starting here, adding tasks, this link will take you to the task list where you can create a task. This will take you to the dispatch screen. This will take you to the workload management screen, and this will take you to the task list screen. You also have the option of importing tasks. We go over importing in a different video. Efficiency for tasks will tell you how fast your response time is. Response time is calculated from when the task is created to when it's viewed by the first person it gets assigned to. Efficiency also calculates resolution time. Resolution time is calculated from when the task is created to when it's marked done. You can sort your tasks by type. There are many different task types you can create within the company settings. Happiness rating for tasks can be turned on. To turn on happiness rating, you would go into the company settings. This will allow your customers to mark whether or not they were happy, satisfied, or dissatisfied with the service provided to them from the task. Recent tasks will show just that, the recent tasks that you were in, with the ability to view who viewed that particular task and a link to share. Team Summary Open Tasks will show the open tasks for any team that gets chosen within the settings. Tasks by Customer will show the particular tasks listed for each customer that you choose within the settings. My Tasks will show the tasks assigned to the signed in user. Team Summary Completed Tasks will show the tasks that were completed by the team within the given due date range. Task Custom Report will allow you to pull a custom report from the report builder using the task data set to show here. Selecting Manage Widgets here will allow you to rearrange different widgets in whatever way that you would like. I'm a big fan of custom reports, so maybe I'd like a few different custom reports throughout my task dashboard. If I decide I'd like to delete any of the widgets from the task dashboard, I can simply choose the trash can. Striven will confirm the change, and I'll click OK. If I would like to revert back to the defaults, I would select Reset to Default here. I'm going to create some tasks in Striven, and I'll meet you back here in a second. And we're back. I configured my filters and added in some tasks, and they show here now on the dashboard. You might notice that each of the widgets has a different name than it previously did. Within the widget settings, all of the widgets have the ability to have the name changed. Some of the other widget settings allow for more configuration. Here, you'll notice that I changed the title of this particular widget. Since I had it set to month to date, I decided to change the title so it reflects that. I chose not to filter by any task types, customers, assigned to, teams, or priorities. However, I definitely could. So this shows the average response and resolution time for my entire company month to date. I can choose to change this date range if I'd like to any of the date ranges shown below. So this widget's telling me that the average response time is one day, 45 minutes, and the average resolution time for tasks is two days and eight hours. It's also displayed as a pie graph below. The tasks by type widget I changed to be support tasks, changed the title, and chose to view this month's tasks. These are the tasks created and completed that were of the support ticket task type. This widget is happiness ratings. I zoned in to my particular team and made it year to date. What was formerly recent tasks, I renamed to tasks that I was just looking at. I have the option of pinning a task if I would like it to remain in this space within the task dashboard, or I can choose to hide the particular task. Hiding will override pinning. Here I have my team open tasks. It shows each member of my team, along with the tasks that they have open, and any past due tasks that they have. If I would like to know the 10 past due tasks that Brian has, I can simply click here, and in a separate page, it'll show me those tasks. This was previously tasks by customer. I chose OPEX as my customer in this particular week. So this shows me the tasks that were created and completed for OPEX for this week. I could choose to add additional customers if I wanted to within the settings, and then it would show me their tasks as well. 
Those two other companies did not have any tasks associated to them for this particular week. Next is what was formerly my tasks, I renamed to Cindy's tasks. My team's completed tasks are here and I changed the date range to be this week. So these are the members on my team that have completed tasks within this week and how many tasks they have completed. This was the widget for a custom report. So within the settings, you would choose a report from the report builder that you created using the tasks data set that you would like to show here. For this particular widget, I wanted to look at tasks that are not currently within a project. As you can see here, I have 35 of those tasks and I can choose to load more if I want to. I can choose to click in to any of these tasks if I would like more information. And that's everything you need to know to set up your task dashboard. Any questions? Chat us up.